The state election is on Saturday, the 19th of March, 2022. Voting in the state election is your opportunity to have your voice heard. But if you can't vote at your local polling booth on Saturday, the 19th of March, there are other options, like completing a postal vote. Postal voting is easy, but you need to make sure that you complete your ballot papers and voter declaration properly to ensure that your vote counts. The postal voting pack you will receive includes the ballot papers, a declaration vote envelope that you will need to complete, and a reply paid envelope to send your ballots back to us for counting. Please complete the enclosed ballot papers and declaration vote envelope before 6pm South Australian time on polling day, 19th of March 2022. Before you start, make sure that you have a suitable witness available before marking your ballot papers. This witness must observe you signing the declaration vote envelope. Your witness may be any person other than the candidate in the election who has at least 18 years of age. And make sure that your witness reads the enclosed leaflet and understands their responsibilities. You're now ready to complete your postal vote. Just complete these simple steps and you'll have made sure your vote counts. Open your postal voting pack if you haven't already and confirm that you have two ballot papers, one green and one white, the declaration vote envelope that you'll place your ballot papers in, and the reply paid envelope to send everything back to us in. Read the directions on the ballot papers. But what if you make a mistake? Don't worry, if you or your witness make a mistake in marking the ballot papers, the mistake can be corrected. As long as your intention is clear, your vote will still count. To ensure your correction is legible, Simply cross out the mistake and write the correct number alongside the box. Mark the ballot papers in private. Once you have completed the ballot papers as per the instructions, fold the ballot papers to conceal your vote, place in the postal declaration vote envelope and seal the envelope. Complete the elected declaration in section two by signing it in the presence of the witness. Ask your witness to complete and sign section three of the envelope, but do not remove the declaration section from the envelope or your vote will not be counted. If you're unable to sign your voter declaration and have supplied a medical certificate to that effect with your postal vote application, you can ask an assistant to sign the declaration for you. Now place the declaration vote envelope in the reply paid envelope supplied and seal the envelope. Post in any Australia Post post box immediately so we receive your vote in no less than seven days after polling day or have the envelope delivered by hand to any polling booth in South Australia before 6pm on polling day, or deliver the envelope to an electoral commission in any other state or territory before 5pm on the Friday before polling day. To find your nearest interstate electoral commission, check our website ecsa.sa.gov.au. Congratulations! Now you've successfully completed your postal vote. For more information on how to apply or to complete your postal vote, or how to complete your ballot papers, head to ecsa.sa.gov.au or phone us on 1300 655 232. And remember, voting in the state election is your opportunity to have your voice heard. Your vote, your voice. <laughs>